Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Kimmel here for a late Tuesday night video right here on Metal God 669. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'm not going to do the entire intro. You already know. Well, that's all I got to say about that. Alright. So on this tu late Tuesday night, Valentine's Day, February the 14th, 2023. I hope all of you that have a significant other had a great Valentine's Day. Got yourself some candy. Took took your man, excuse me, took your man or woman out to a nice lunch, dinner, whatever you got to do. I already did that this past weekend, but it is what it is. We really didn't do nothing today besides go to physical therapy and sleep. Because <laughs> I had the day off, so I really didn't have to do anything. But, in any case, you know. But hopefully everybody had a great Valentine's Day. And for all you single people out there, all you guys out there that can't get a woman because you can't find your dick. But, you know, because you got no balls either. And you need blue chew most of the time because you can't get it up. <laughs> I hope you had a great Valentine's Day, you know, playing with yourself and, you know, Going through, going through with tons of tissue and uh, Vaseline and Gergens, because you got you ain't gonna get any any real action. But but it is what it is. I ain't gonna say anything about that. So don't forget to chew your blue chew. Don't swallow it. Chew it. That's why it's called blue chew. But in any case. Hope everybody had a great day, and if, if you didn't, well, too bad. There's always tomorrow. But, let me move on with that. Alright, so, on this this nice, getting, gonna get warmer, it's most, supposed to be uh, in the low 60s tomorrow. Nice. Uh, Thursday, Thursday and the Friday gonna rain, which sucks, and it's gonna drop a little bit. Not too cold on Saturday, it's gonna be like 45 degrees. And they get back up to like 60 by Monday again. <laughs> this bipolar winter just completely freaks me out. That's why everybody's getting sick. One day's cold, one day's hot. One day's cold, one day's hot. What are you going to do? we got another couple weeks of this. we got about four and a half, five weeks till the official start of spring. And, um... Hopefully spring will be a nice warm, we get a nice warm spring into a red, uh, not too red hot here in the Northeast, you know, if it's red hot, forget it. But hopefully it's hot and we don't get hurricanes coming up starting in April and going all the way through November. Don't need that. But we'll see what happens, you know, when we get the hurricane season and, you know, we got you know, summer, spring, and summer thunderstorms. Hopefully, we won't get severe thunderstorms and tornadoes here in the Northeast. But we'll see what happens with that. We got a long way to go. We're really almost done with February. Next weekend is really the end of February. But and then we go right into March, uh, two weeks from tomorrow. So, we got that. But we move on. All right. Enough about that bullshit. Uh, so, on the Metal God channel, as and as you know, with this channel, uh, basically it's a tribute channel, but I do do some music videos, some rock news, uh, if I feel like talking about music, or um, album reviews, uh, shirts, you know, merchandise. I'm actually, I actually bought, about, about to buy, uh, probably this weekend, a new In This Moment shirt called Wings. And, uh, uh, it's a pre-order, and, uh, we got a couple of new, sh new, new things came out, uh, Maria came out with a, with, with a, another doll, but it's like, it's like a bigger version of the doll that I got, that I bought, like, for, like, ten bucks, oh, I forgot how much I bought that for, but, um, but it's called the Witching Hour doll, but I'm not gonna get that, because I already have the, the figurine, alright, it's a little bit bigger, it looks actually normal, but, you know, but it is what it is, uh, and I got some other, oh, new, you know, new stuff coming out, I thought they were gonna do another Valentine's Day thing, I mean, they did do it today, with, the, they sent, they sent me an email of the new stuff that's coming out, uh, one of them being the Wings, uh, t-shirt, 
They got another one called Gatherer, which is on Maria's website. So if you want to go to Maria Brink, uh, I think it's MariaBrink.com or MariaBrinkOfficial.com. Just type in Maria Brink Merchandise Store, you should find it. Uh, or go to uh, the official In This Moment store. Just Google it, and you'll find it. But not too not too pricey, 35 bucks. But, um, and then with shipping, uh, depending on what shipping you get, if you get it regular, it comes in five days, or maybe three, depending, because it comes from California. If you get it quick, sometimes I get it quick, sometimes it takes like three days. But what I'm going to do is get it shipped in two business days. So it's supposed to ship on March the 6th. So I'm going to hopefully get it by that weekend, by before March 11th. Because I want to show it off to show it off in, in a video, and I want to wear it when I go out. You know what I mean? So, uh, so I got the expert, uh, the two day shipping. Uh, I think that cost me uh, thirteen. I think it's thirteen dollars. I think all together it's forty nine bucks. Fifty bucks is not bad. Not bad. I mean, I could get it for forty four with the regular shipping, which is like nine dollars and change, but. I want it, I want it quick. I don't want to get it like you know at the weight, and I want to you know I want to wear it to you know wrestling show or whatever to show it off. But whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get it in two days, and hopefully it'll, it'll come before March 11th. But we'll see what happens with that. Let me move on with that, and then you know, later on I'm gonna get my Disturbed tickets because I'm, I really want to go see Disturbed August 11th at the PNC. So, Rose loves the Sturbs, and I love the Sturbs, so I'm going to go, uh, they're going to be toying with Breaking Benjamin and Ginger, so that's going to be an epic concert, and that's a Friday night concert, so that's, that's good. It's a Friday night, you know, I have to, you know, get there early, because I don't know what time the, the gates open, and that's a pain in the ass, because I have to buy the tickets, try to get some cheap tickets, hopefully, um... And then I gotta save up for transportation, food, which it really doesn't much, you know. Tr the New Jersey Transit train shouldn't cost me more than sixty bucks back, back and forth, and then you know, regular mass transit going home, and then I have to take a cab to the PNC, and then I gotta take a cab from where I get off in Brooklyn back here. So, so at most I'm wasting. I would say 35 40 bucks for that because it's about 20 25 dollars to go from the train station to the PNC unless I split it with somebody that's going but we'll, we'll have to see about that and then um yeah I'll be home you know the concert will probably start about six probably about seven o'clock and then the service should go on about nine and then end about 11 o'clock and then hopefully I can get to the train station before midnight because you know, I don't want to get stranded in, in Homedale New Jersey let's just say that but we'll have to see what happens with that. And, you know, you know, by the time I get home, it's like, uh, it's probably like 2 o'clock in the morning at most. 2 o'clock, 2.30. 2 Go home, and then Saturday, I'm, I, I'm most likely off because I don't work on weekends most of the time. So it is what it is. And, yeah, take the weekend off. Take the Well, take Saturday off the, you know, to, to recover from that epic concert, and then, you know, figure out what I'm going to do the rest of August, so, but, it is what it is, we'll talk about all that later, I'll do a review, if I go to the concert, I'll do a, I'll do a review of it, probably the next day, or whenever I can, but in any case, let's not talk about music for, for right now, but I do have music videos in the pipeline, whenever I feel like doing it, but, as of this video, I know I wasted nine minutes of your time. I'm sorry about that. What's my video? I can do whatever the fuck I want. You don't like it? Get off. That's it. But anyway, we got another death in the world of professional wrestling. And... Kind of hits kind of hits, hits hard uh, for you people of Impact Wrestling. So I know Paulson's probably crying up a storm. Because he loves that Impact Wrestling. You know, and my good buddy from my Canadian, my actual good friend from in the north. I got, you know, I know I have another. There's there's two people that live in Canada that 
I kind of respect. That's Andre Corbeil and, well, the former guy that named Dallas Catamania. But, other than that, everybody else in Canada can suck a dick. But, in any case, uh, for all you Impact Wrestling fans and old school TNA fans, I said the report that uh, the news that Jerry Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett's dad, has uh, sadly passed away at the age of 80 years old. I mean, people are dropping like flies in 2023. Like like the last few years. What are you going to do? We don't know when our time is up. We could, we could die tomorrow. We could die now. Who knows? Well, sadly it won't be me, but I, I got a long way to go, hopefully. But we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, Jerry Jarrett has passed away at the age of 80. He was the founder of TNA Wrestling back in 2002. With his son, Jeff Jarrett, who then took over in 2005 because I had a dispute over the direction of TNA. And uh, J Jerry Jarrett really, you know, didn't like the way that TNA was going to go. And he left. And he really wasn't in the limelight of, of uh, wrestling for a while. Uh, he was um, inducted into the Wrestling Observer Hall of Fame, I think in 2018. But, you know, he was a very good uh, territorial promoter and everything. He created uh, CWA way back in the 70s. And almost, he almost bought WWE back in the 90s when Vince McMahon, with, with the whole steroid scandal back in the early 90s, I, <laughs> luckily, Hulk Hogan brother, you know, bailed him out. You know. Because that would have been really, really, really bad for Vince McMahon. Because he could have went to jail for that shit. Now, if you watch the, uh, the, uh, uh, what was it, um, the territories they talk about, uh, they, I think they talk a little bit about that. But, and I think they have a dark side of the ring about, I don't know if they do, but I think they do, about the whole, yeah, I think they do, about the whole Vince McMahon, uh, Ultimate Warrior Hogan steroid scandal and stuff like that, where, you know, WWE almost, you know, good night, Vince McMahon, you know what I mean? But, but Jerry Jarrett almost, almost bought it. Because, you know, he was like big in WCW. Uh, he was a, he was a consultant for WCW all the, I think, in the 90s, I know that. And then all the way up till the start of TNA. With Jerry and Dusty Rhodes, I'm making green, baby. You know, remember, Dusty Rhodes was part of Impact Wrestling. You know, coming about. But, you know, we got that. But, you know, said said they in the, in, uh, you know, the Jarrett family. Jeff is devastated because he lost his dad, you know, at 80. And Jeff's like in his 50s, so... So, you know, so my condolences go out to the Jarrett family, Jeff, Deborah, even Karen Jarrett, I guess, you know, I, or I guess because she's part of the family because she's married to Jeff, you know, so that's her father-in-law. So, so kind of a big hit to, you know, the Jarrett family and my condolences go out to Jeff and Deborah. I did tweet Jar uh, Jeff Jarrett with my condolences. Uh... So, you know, uh, I assume they're going to they're gonna do something on, imp uh, well, definitely on Impact on Thursday night. They're going to probably do it in Memoriam with me. Uh, I would do it. They could do it in Memoriam because I already did the taping. So I don't think they're going to do like a 10 bell salute or anything like that. So I'll probably put up a picture of Jeff, of Jerry Jarrett, you know, because he was the backbone of TNA back in the early days of TNA before, you know, uh, Jeff bought it, well, Jeff was, uh, co-founded it, and then he took it over, and then, uh, he was basically head of TNA for a long time until Dick Cicada, County, you know, kind of, kind of got involved and really shouldn't, and almost killed TNA back in 2015, 16, into early 17, but TNA's still around 20... Getting uh, around 21 years later, because this is the 21st year of Ring of Honor and TNA.
So, the little engine that could impact wrestling is still around. Nice. It's never, just never gonna die. But, you know, because now it's owned by uh, Anthem Sports. And now Scott Demore kind of runs things. You know, even though Santino Alara is the is taking his place for now. Because of the storyline with Bully Ray and all that bullshit. But, you know. And Ring of Honor, we all know, is owned by Tony Khan. Part, well, partly owned by Tony Khan. I don't know when he's going to get full ownership of, of uh, Ring of Honor unless Sinclair Broadcasting, those idiots, freaking you know, give him full ownership. But it is what it is. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Rest in peace to Jerry Jarrett, a great territorial uh, promoter, you know, founder of TNA. You know, I really hope, you know, and not to say anything bad about TNA, but I hope it continues on in his in in his in his uh his honor and Jeff's. You know, I gotta give it to Jeff, even though he almost killed it too with Dixie Carter, honey. You know, they had to get bailed out by uh basically bailed out by uh uh Billy Corgan and then uh Anthem Sports. You know, wish I had a better TV deal than Access TV, but you know, just saying. But maybe someday they'll be on a major network. And I'm not that Access TV is a major network, but hopefully Ring of Honor will get a TV deal. Not on freaking Honor Club. And it's starting the tapings actually in March. So a couple of weeks we're going to be having Ring of Honor house show. Well, I don't know about house shows, but I know they're going to be doing TV. Hopefully some some shows in New York will be nice to Tony Khan. You owe me a job, by the way. But <laughs> I digress. I mean, if Issa can be, is the Issa can get a job in Puerto Rico for uh, being a ring announcer for uh, PPW or whatever it's named, I think it's Ponce Professional Wrestling. I think it's called. If Issa can get a get a freaking job in Puerto Rico for an indie promotion in in Puerto Rico, hey, you know, why can't I get something for in an indie promotion or or maybe a you know. God, you know you know, a man can dream, but AEW, or maybe New Japan, it, well, in Cal, well, it, either in California or in or in the great great country of Japan, number one forever. A man can dream, but yeah, it's a, it's a pipe dream, you know. But yeah, you never know. You never know. You get the right connections. You know, send in some tapes. You never know. You know. Issa's getting in that, that door. She's in that door. She can, you know. Next thing we know, we'll, we'll have Issa on AEW television doing ring announcing for Dark. Where I'd rather have on Dynamite, but. Among other things. But. <laughs> but in any case, that's all I gotta, gotta say. So. I'm, I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna do some other things. I'm gonna probably edit this video up and then go to bed. Just gotta work tomorrow. I got really. Yeah, basically got work tomorrow and then. Um. Nothing else, <coughs> excuse me, nothing else tomorrow. I was supposed to do a rant about these stupid wrestling fans, about the whole Liv Morgan, Rey Mysterio thing. And speaking of Rey Mysterio, oh, oh boy, did he stiff Dom on Valentine's Day. Dom did a did a dip and run with, uh, you know, taking Mommy Rhea Ripley out to dinner on Valentine's Day, and they basically ruined Angie and Ray's Valentine's Day dinner, but, you know, I think Ray got, got Dom in the, in the end, and, um, Dom, Dom's credit card declined, I don't know how, but, and Mommy Rhea Ripley had to pay the bill, and Dom left her, oh, Dom, you ain't gonna get any, f now, come on, dude, come on, you don't stiff Mommy, come on. But anyway, that was that was a funny funny uh, video on Twitter today. That was funny, but but in any case, that's all I gotta say. I'm gonna edit this video. I'm gonna go to bed. So thanks all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I gotta say about that. Rest in peace, Jerry Jarrett. And um, I can always just once again go out to the Jarrett family. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Peter Gilmore signing off. Peace.